What is up guys, it's that gamer Jake back here with another video and today I am showing you my gaming setup. If you have watched my first video, there was a trailer for it, it's finally here. Let's get into it. Starting off, I have my AV rack. This is what I use to hold and store all of my gaming stuff. This thing is pretty much essential for a gamer because it makes everything more organized and simpler. My opinion only. On the first shelf, I have an Xbox One S and an Energizer charger for the controllers, as long as some extra charging accessories for my devices. Taking a closer look at the charger itself, it's a very clean design, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's very simple to use. Taking a look at the controllers themselves, I have an Xbox Design Lab controller and a standard kit controller that came with the Xbox. On the second shelf, I will soon have my Xbox 360e, two controllers, some extra earbuds, and a label maker. Just some extra office supplies that I have. On the third shelf, I have a small collection of Xbox One games and some Xbox 360 games in the back. I will be expanding my collection shortly because I don't have a lot of games right now. Taking a look at the fourth shelf, I have a very tangled power strip and ironically, three extra cable management sleeves left over. Hmm. On to the desk. This is where the actual gaming happens. Taking a look at my monitor, I have an HP 22ER IPS display that handles way, way better than expected. Next to the monitor is my Cyber Acoustics um, speakers that I actually bought on Amazon for around $40 to $60, and you will be seeing a shot of the subwoofer right now. Now this subwoofer handles very well for the money, and the speakers do as well. Behind this I have two cable management sleeves. I'm sorry if this video is very short, but I do not have a lot to show right now. I will have another video in a few days about how I make and record my videos as long as my hopes for future tech. If you haven't noticed yet, I won't just be making gaming videos on this channel, I'll also be doing tech videos and unboxings. First, before I can actually make gaming videos, I need an Elgato as long as a PC to do this. We'll see how that goes. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.